how to finally understand math with the help of Legos. Math is a dreaded four-letter word for millions of people across the world. Some of us overcome our fear of math as soon as we graduate high school and choose to major in liberal arts. However, some people develop a math phobia or math anxiety and live with it for years. Do you personally find math confusing? Hit the thumbs up button if so. It's okay to admit it, we've all been there. Brightside has decided to find a way to overcome this fear of bewildering numbers and formulas. We're going to help you and your kids understand math using your favorite childhood toy, Legos. Who doesn't love those? Getting started. Organize your Legos before you start playing, that is, learning with them. You can put them in separate bags based on color or the number of studs on them. A Harry Potter Lego figurine in a Lego palm tree might look cool, but they won't do much good during our fun lesson. So put them aside and remember that we only need Lego blocks for today's class. Now, once you've sorted out your Lego blocks, you're ready to learn math like never before. It can be understandable and fun, we promise. We'll start with some very basic concepts, like adding, multiplication, and fractions. When you get to know your tiny, powerful tools better, we'll move on to the more complicated stuff. Some fun math tricks you'll definitely love. Let's go! We have some serious math to do. Counting down from number 14, total total part part. With Legos, the idea of a total and its parts is way easier than staring at numbers on a page. There's probably no better way to explain it to your kids. Move the blocks around, put them side by side, and then separate them from each other. Use blocks of different colors to make it even more visually apparent. It's important to understand the total-total part-part concept because it's the basis of everything else you'll be learning later on. Thirteen, Adding What makes Lego bricks so perfect for learning how to add numbers? The dots on them. Feel them, touch them, count them, add them. Twelve, Adding and subtracting Let's make it a bit harder. Subtracting comes into play. 11. Simple fractions Have you ever met a person who said, Fractions are my favorite thing in the world? <laughs> Neither have I. To most of us, the numerator and denominator sound more like something out of the Terminator movies. Well, that's all about to change. Once we understand what the whole is visually, we'll also know what its parts are. In our case, the 8-dot brick is the whole or one. The other small bricks help us to see the relationship between fractions and their whole. 10. Adding fractions Adding fractions is the next challenge on our way to becoming math gurus. Watch and learn! Yep. It's easy-peasy lemon squeezy when you actually get to visualize it. 9. Squaring numbers This one has always had me scratching my head. And I don't have dandruff. It's so much better when you can see and count all the dots. Number 8. Multiplying Multiplying our efforts while multiplying some numbers, here's how you can do it. Not bad at all, right? Number 7. Skip counting Skip counting speaks for itself, but it's easier to skip things in reality than abstractly in your mind. 
Let's try skip counting by twos up to 16. It helps us to understand the concept of multiplication. There are eight twos, or bricks in our case, in a 16. Looks like we're ready to level up in this math learning game. We'll share some fun tricks, yes, math can be fun, you wish you had known earlier. Many of them can actually make adult life much easier too. Six. Simple multiplication by 4. The trick here is to multiply your number by 2, and then multiply it by 2 again. Five. Division by 5. Dividing large numbers by 5 is, in fact, pretty simple. All you need to do is multiply your number by 2, and then move the decimal back one space. Ta-da! 4. Easily multiplying by 11. This one is pure numerical magic. Three. Subtracting from 1,000. There's an easy rule for subtracting from 1,000. Just subtract all the digits from 9. And the last digit from 10. Two, finding a fraction of a whole number. We already know a thing or two about fractions, but how can you find a fraction of a whole number? That's a good one. It's a little harder to grasp the concept, but we have faith you'll pick it up in no time. And number 1. Finding the percentage of a number. Finding the percentage of a number is a skill any adult needs. Once you know it, never again will you be fooled by a 70% off sales item, because you'll know exactly how much that 70% really is. You'll also be able to mentally calculate the amount of tips to a T. It's all really straightforward. Divide both numbers by 10 and multiply the results. You're done! If you want to see more fun and simple math tricks, we've got just what you need. We'll share the link to our video with some pretty awesome tricks, like multiplying large numbers in your head, and even converting Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. And now, how about we pay some respect to the almighty LEGO, breaker of mathematic chains. Here are 10 short fun facts about this fun and helpful toy. Number 10. Lego was founded in 1932 in Denmark. Its name isn't just a random assortment of letters, but a combination of the first two letters of two Danish words, leg and goat, translate as play well. Fair enough, you can really play well with these cool toys. Number 9. The first Lego brick was created in 1958. The original is so perfect and universal that we can still connect it to bricks from today. Yes, all LEGO bricks ever made are perfectly compatible with each other. Number 8. LEGO bricks are not only perfectly compatible, they're also just plain perfect. Only 18 bricks per million are considered defective. Two thousandths of a millimeter mismatch is already considered a disaster, which is pretty impressive, right? Thumbs up for the perfectionists at LEGO! Number 7. There are 
915,103,765 possible ways to combine six of the eight studded LEGO bricks. Have you tried all of them yet? Six. There is a man in the UK named James May who once built a legitimate house out of LEGO bricks. It took him 3.3 million bricks and boatloads of effort, I imagine. There was even a fully functioning bathroom in the house. LEGO wanted to get a hold of the house first, but it turned out to be too expensive to move it. 5. Everybody knows LEGO also makes mini figurines, not just bricks. They produce around 340 million of them each year, which is enough to line them up from London to Beijing. That's a distance of 4,900 miles, in case you were wondering. 4. The tallest LEGO tower ever was built in Delaware. It was over 112 feet tall and 11 stories high. It took its builders, some very devoted high school students, over 500,000 bricks to construct it. 3. LEGO gave birth to a cool new job – master model builders. These people are the ones who put up all those unthinkable constructions at Legoland. Interested in applying for the job? 2. You might own some Legos, or you might not. That doesn't change the fact that there are around 80 of them for every person on the planet. They make a great Christmas present, which means around 28 sets are sold per second during the holiday season. And number 1. It turns out LEGO has outperformed Goodyear and Bridgestone in the production of wheels. Mini wheels still count as wheels, right? 306 million of those are produced by LEGO every year. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it showed you how math can be easy and fun. Just be sure to put away your Legos. We wouldn't want you stepping on those things in your bare feet. Ouch! If we've helped you with your math dilemmas or entertained you with some interesting facts, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to see our cool updates. Life is better on the Bright Side.